Katz. And I'm Sue Hausman. And you know, Janie, we have shown a lot of ways to create using the designs, the motifs, the mini picks that are built into the program. Yes. And there's over 350. I mean, you're certainly not limited there, but there's so many more options because you can create your own designs. Exactly. And some of us like to create our own things, do your own thing. So sure. we've looked in the wizard at um, a couple of the basic things, but this quilt was a little different technique. It was. I, I know this was a piece of clip art chosen to mm -hmm. make this bachelor quilt. And of course, the label creator tells us that it is a man's quilt, Smoky Skies bachelor quilt. Great idea to make mm -hmm. a quilt for a man that's kind yes. of not as fancy or frilly. Yes. Look for a piece of, of clip art, which is exactly what this was. Exactly. So to um, create a quilting design quickly from clip art, all we have to do is choose quick trace a picture. Okay. And you just go find that clip art, and it could be clip art that you buy. It might come on a CD or in a book, and you scan it. And the wizard is automatically going to step you through the process of how you clean this clip art up uh -huh. and adjust it. And, oops, and I forgot to tell it the size. Um, but we would do but that. But you would do that. Uh -huh. We had it preset at 100 millimeters, and that's a good size for this one, about four inches. Now, that's one. But on that's the quilt, one. we have rows of them. A whole row for of For the these frames. Motifs. So how did you do that? I think I'd like it actually, I'd like it rotated. Can Would you like to? Yes, yeah, sure we mm -hmm. can. We can take this design and select it and we have a quick rotate icon okay. right up here. There we go. And then we're going to copy this and put it on our clipboard because we're going to go out here to the wizard again. You can start a new work area I'll tell you, there's so many wizards in this new design <laughs> wizard design option. Um, they're virtually unlimited, and they're all as quick as the one as quick as the other. Yes, they are. And for people especially who have frames, if you have a frame quilter and you want to make edge-to-edge -edge designs, this is the way to do it. Okay. So we're going to start a new work area, and we're going to set this one a little bit wider. So, so this would be the size of the area we would be quilting on our quilt. On our frame. So we would measure that quilt across the okay. width mm -hmm. and then um, across the reach, which is how far we are going to quilt from front to back. And then when we click finish, look at this great big work area. I see it. So you can see our design is sitting here on the clipboard. We just paste it in and it comes in. It's a little bit too big, but that's not a problem because we've told it how big our area is we want to quilt. So, so I was concerned that if you made this smaller or larger, would it change the stitch count? There are no stitches, you said. There are no stitches in Quilt Design Creator. We are working with clip art, and no stitches are formed until it's exported as an embroidery design, or you load it into your robotic quilter and quilt it. So that's where the stitches that's come That's where the stitches come in. Okay. So we want a whole row of these. We've sized one to be the right size, we have a tool called Encore, and when you click Encore, it will automatically set up for you and repeat those elements to whatever will fit your space. And that's what we're seeing here yes. on the quilt, the Encore of that clip art design mm -hmm. going over and over and over, and yes. of course, stitched quickly on the frame. Yes. And with a quilting robot. Right. And saved in whatever format your quilting robot Yes, yeah. quilting robot needs, right? <laughs> yes, because it does save in, in all the different formats for okay. the quilters. Well, the other way you could create designs would be freehand, couldn't mm -hmm. you? You could you simply could. draw them. You could. I know so, Lena did this blouse, and she was saying that on the yoke, where she did yokes and sort of traced it over a piece of paper <clears> where she drew the squigglies and the cuffs, too, which is really fun, um, you could just draw squigglies on the screen. You can. Am I right? You can. Um, if you want to just get another work area, we would come down here and say start a new element, and that would give us just a blank work area the size of one design. Okay. So where the work area was big, like our quilting frame. And we could have multiple designs. Right. We're going to do an element, which would be a single design. Okay. And we're just going to set its size, so we'll make this one about four inches, which is about 100 by 100 millimeters. Okay. And now we just have a little blank area. So what Lena did in the one that she created here on this blouse, she used the freehand draw tool. And I love that when you hover over an icon. And it tells you because what Because sometimes I forget. Mm -hmm. It tells you what they are. It's yes. perfect. 
And we can even put this in a color. So if you have a favorite color or something you know you want to use in your design, you can pick that exact color by just left clicking on it. So we're going to pick red because we're in a red mood today. Okay. And all you have to do to create that look is to use your mouse cursor and draw. Now, I usually use what we call a graphics tablet and a pen, Sue, but I forgot to bring it with me today. And that allows you a little bit steadier hand. But if you forget it and you're using a mouse, if you simply choose the line, you can edit and you can actually reshape this and make it perfect. You can. Every time. Or if you don't like what you did, you can click on do. I know you about do that. that as well. <laughs> I do that occasionally. <laughs> but you know, I always tell people sometimes it's easier to fix than it is to undo That's and true. redo. That's true. Now, I know the other thing that you love to do yes. is write your name and yes. sign signatures. Yes. What a great way to quilt a quilt or to do a tablecloth yes. for someone special. Maybe all your guests sign a tablecloth when they come to dinner. Right. And you take it and you actually trace over and stitch it. And I've seen many graduation quilts created this way where people came in and made their signature for the quilt. Sure. Jelly roll pens are okay, you know, the permanent ink pens, but stitching is even better. So you could have them write their signature, scan it in, and then create it into stitches. Wouldn't that be fun? It's perfect. Yes. It's perfect. Yes. But you've got another way that you can actually create something extremely yes. unique. Yes. Specifically for a person. Right. Um, we have a friend who's really into cars. And many of you collect antique cars or special things in your lives that you might like to put into like a quilt. sewing machines. Sewing machines, or my son loves bicycles. So if you show him the um, design, okay. this was a photograph of an antique car. So let's look at how that's done. We have load a picture. Okay. And all we're going to do is bring in a background picture. And this is actually a digital photograph that you could take with your camera and load it right into your computer and use it as a background. And we're just going to let the wizard prepare the clip art for us because all this is going to be is a background. But you know, one of the new things in 5D Quilt Design Creator is we can adjust, not only load a background, but we can adjust how bright that background is so we can very clearly see where we want to draw. That's good. You and, can, uh -huh. and then we just use that freehand draw tool again and we'll make it a bright color here so you can see it. And you start drawing and outlining the and actual outlining shape of your picture, to whatever you have brought in. Your lines to be. And then once that that yellow line will be a stitching line. Yes. Once we save it, either export mm -hmm. it to your embroidery machine. Which this was did. done on the embroidery machine with a large hoop, but or it could just as well have been done on the frame if you were to yes. save it for your quilting okay. robot. Robot. You have all kinds of opportunities. And wouldn't it be fun to stitch a special gift for someone, a picture? Yes. yes, absolutely. So be sure you watch all the rest of the videos in the 5D Learning Center to learn more.